again today in this video we are going to offer discount to our clients because in the previous video we learned that how to create the session uh, how to uh, charge our customer and we successfully able to charge our customer and our payment is here right and if you don't know how to do this so you can check out my previous video where i completely explain that how to create the price how to charge the customer and stuff like that so now the time is to uh, work on this discount so how we can offer this discount to our clients so just go here and uh, find some discount right so discount okay and uh, discount uh, okay discount no this one is a not to exact to AI so mm, session with the discount okay in the this way we can also pass our own one uh, apply coupon and go here create here we are creating coupon apply to a subscription how we can apply this on the subscription how we can apply this on the checkout session so here you need to pass your discount like this right so this mode is subscription where I am I'm telling you that uh, payment is used for uh, here we if we pass the payment so it's used for single charge but if you want to create this for the subscription so you need to pass here subscription attribute right subscription value okay so here discount is used to pass offer the discount so just go here and offer this discount to our clients okay so it will also validate that our discount is valid or not right that's cool okay so here after this payment you can add this here also but it's not related that you need to add this after this payment so i'm just pasting this stuff discounts and do this uh, coupon and here we need to add the coupon value so what's uh, how, how we can find this value so now question comes that uh, we can use this for if someone have discount so apply this uh, discount otherwise create this session without this discount so how we can do this so just uh, remove this uh, just go here and uh, make sure that we are getting any discount uh, value so which is uh, added here checkout date so this if we have a discount code so we need to apply the discount code right otherwise if we don't have any discounts so we don't need to apply the discount right so just go here cut this out if we have a discount we want to apply this discount and if we don't have so we don't want to apply this discount right let's remove this discount property from there and here we need to store our discount right so we are getting this discount here in this uh, request object and we need to pass this out here right discount and uh, this one is uh, offered to this coupon property great so we did this and uh, if we don't have any discount value so it's passed to this one and after this it will return a url and then this uh, redirect this to the specific page right so just go here and um, give it a refresh and uh, pass some value discount value so this one is a five percent to discount so i'm going to offer this five percent discount to so paste this out and here i'm going to click on this so it will deduct this five percent from this product so click on this uh, proceed to payment so first it will direct to the stripe elements and yes now it's applied it's showing that it's so what's the total amount subtotal right 20% of uh, coupons um, it's this is a name of the coupon and uh, it's of 5% right basically the value of this one is name is 20% but the value is amount is 5% right so it's not 20% right it's just name is 20% okay and redemption is 3 and valid right okay uh, so 
just go back and uh, what's the actual amount after this uh, calculation of uh, this uh, total return 47 so you can calculate this in your own way right so here contact to uh, I'm filling this form again and click on this pay and it will now deduct the same price and value and it will also shown to you in the stripe dashboard and yes it's directed on the success page and uh, here if i visit this out so now let's click on this payments and yes it's now did the 47.50 and and it's also displaying that uh, total price is this one subtotal this and uh, off is this and stuff like that so it's displaying exactly what we are looking for right so now let's test this so uh, with the uh, without uh, without payment if, uh, if uh, without coupon right so if we don't have any coupon so how this is going to work so this uh, count uh, app and then let's go to the checkout slash checkout and here i'm not passing this discount anymore so just click on this proceed to 50 and it's not going to create the session with the discount right and yes it's only displaying the 50 and if i go here and um, click on this pay so it will deduct 50 dollar not provide any discount so in this way you can provide the discount but now curious comes that to uh, what if that someone passed the wrong wrong value to this it's now going to uh, redemption is uh, still returning three why it's not returning three i use this one yes i use this one maybe i have created the multiple one or if i go here and check the redemption of this coupon so you can also check this out but i will uh, show you later but first uh, i want to show you that uh, if uh, something went wrong and uh, how it will return that uh, on the error page or cancel page right so here just go to this checkout here for example i'm passing the wrong code which is uh, which uh, wrong coupon which does not exist so let's click on this proceed to payment and we return back on this error page no coupon oh we are not catching this error so how we can catch this error so just go here and in the session we need to uh, why it's not to catching this exception oh we need to apply the try catch and it will apply this out okay very simple so just add this here into the try catch all of the stuff okay add this into the try and then catch the exception here exception and do uh, then exception is got here return back turn back right back with errors with the uh, errors and exception and get message get message from this exception great just give it a refresh and check this out and yes it's redirected back but we are not displaying any uh, any of the errors why because we are not catching any error on this checkout page so let's go here and uh, add some catch some error so laravel any is used to catch these exceptions right so it's going to catch all of the exceptions which are returning from this controller okay just paste this out and uh, into it a little bit and now just post uh, add this one more random coupon and we return the uh, exact error no coupon found great it's working exactly what we are looking for just let me add this here in the before this form so it will not do any bigger from this form some random coupon proceed to the payment and yes now it's displaying exactly what we are looking for so great we successfully we are able to validate the coupon successfully able to apply the coupons you can apply the uh, percentage coupon you can apply the uh, here fixed amount coupon so hope you will learn a lot from this uh, video and uh, if you want to uh, support this channel subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends 
to grow up and then I will shoot more courses like this so thank you bye bye